Hey Simlays, it's Deligracy here and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 29. And I am back from America. I was just there for a week because I was attending a secret Sims camp. And I'm sorry I wasn't allowed to tell you guys that I was going because um, of... Well, basically we're not allowed to tell anyone until we're there. So I am excited I'm back and I've been looking at all of your feedback from the pre-recorded videos I did uh, for this LP and there's been so many awesome ideas so I'm so excited to get back into it and I also have some really fresh new ideas for the LP which I think some of you guys are really gonna like there's gonna be a few twists <laughs> if you've been watching my Twitter at Deligracy you may have got a few clues um also I am still going on my beach holiday so I'm just back for a few days before I leave again uh so I'm just thrilled that I was able to check all of your comments before recording this next part. Anyway, uh, back to it. Volatile market. Some of the investments that Clarice manages have taken quite a beating lately. Oh dear, this has made them lose much of their value. Should she sell now while they're still worth something or wait to see if the market turns around? I reckon she should sell because she's a power woman. She's like, yep, this is what we're going to do. Uh, Clarice executes a sell order and within a couple of hours, the investments have lost even more of their value. It's a good thing she sold when she did. Well, Clarice is, Clarice slays, so let's work hard. She still hasn't got to that position at work. <sighs> Anyways, she'll get there, she'll get there. Uh, in the last part, we had Sylvia and Victoria, uh, Sylvia's mom, finally move into Clarice and Bailey's house. Actually, not finally moved, because it was actually quite fast <laughs> that they moved in. And they have been struggling a lot with money, but their home ended up selling for quite a lot. And uh, now there's a lot of cashola in this family. And it's exciting because it's always been Clarice uh, and Bailey as a single mom. And of course, Judy, when she was still alive, so it's actually really exciting that um, now there are two parents in this household uh, because Clarice and Victoria are lovers, they are partners. And uh, eventually I hope that they will get married because I do want um, to support gay marriage in this Let's Play. So I'm excited. And also we're about to have a vote for gay marriage in Australia, uh, which I know is really sad that we don't have it in our country uh, legalized so I just thought it was good timing with that for us Australians anyway enough of that chatter so basically um Victoria you know she's got a job she's a writer's assistant assistant it's just not that great so what I'm actually going to do is get her to quit that job because I have another idea for her oh let's just pay those bills real quick uh and quit job because I actually think that with all of this money here, we should, you know, take it Clarice's advice, <laughs> business advice, and use it to invest in something. And that something is going to be a new store, so a retail store. And Victoria is going to run it. And I also thought that she's probably realized how upset Sylvia is at school and that her grades are really terrible like school is just not suited to Sylvia she's almost finished like she's in her final year of school but I think um what we're going to do is actually get her to drop out of school and run or help manage this store with her mum instead I think that would just be better suited to her it's something I haven't done in the sims before and in terms of gameplay, we just won't send her to school each day and maybe just cheat her grades so failing doesn't affect her mood. Uh, so yeah, I think um, Victoria's going to break the news to her soon. Uh, let's just get her to go to the toilet real quick because I want us to purchase a new place for the store, which I'm thinking it should be in the city because I feel like this family has quite a bit of money and they could invest somewhere really nice. Uh, otherwise, we could have like a local little store, but I feel like going to the city each day would be really fun. Uh, so let's have a look at maybe let's have a look at the map first and then we'll decide where we want to purchase and then uh, we'll get Victoria to check out the venue. So if we wanted to purchase here, we've got options like all around here where there's bars and things. I mean, we could have a cute little store in this area, somewhere over here in that city center. I don't think I want to go Magnolia Promenade. Like it's okay. Oh, 
well, maybe we could go there. I mean, it is, it is pretty cute and we don't play here very often. And we could buy Paddywax Emporium and renovate it. Oh, well, maybe we should do that. Cause I was thinking of maybe getting a place in the city, uh, like over here, but these are pretty big lots. They're pretty fancy. I wish there was like more lots over here. Uh, that would be really good. Hmm. You know what guys, I've changed my mind. I think we should go to Mag Magnolia Promenade because I feel like really big stores would be in the city and this is a business startup. So what am I doing? Where am I going? <laughs> Uh, so I think, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Uh, right here. Also, Sylvia just hasn't really had any successful love interests. And I also want to focus on Elliot a bit, uh, because I want him to kind of find someone else other than Bailey, whom he's being really in love with. Uh, maybe Olivia would be a good couple, like... I've seen a lot of you guys shipping them. I just don't see him with Sylvia. Buy a retail store. Okay. Yay, I'm so excited. Well, let's check out the optional stores. I mean, we could build one here, but I'd rather renovate one. And these are too big, so let's go here. Um, maybe the Emporium's just come up on the market and Clarice was, you know, because she's in that business world, maybe she noticed it and thought, hey, this would be a really good avenue for you, Victoria, because I love how much they support each other. Okay, okay, this does need a little bit of work. Uh... Wait, where's all our... What? Where are all... Where is all of our money? We had like 80,000 simoleons. That's weird. That is really weird. Huh. I don't know how the game glitched. I'm so confused. Oh well, I'll sort that out off camera. But they did have like 80,000 simoleons. I guess I'll just give that back. Anyway, so this is the new place that she has purchased to renovate. And yes, it does need a little bit of work. She doesn't want to sell random bits and bobs. This is going to be a fashion store because that is just what she does. <laughs> so it's smaller than the other stores nearby, but I like that. And uh, yeah, maybe, I mean, they could have a cafe in the store as well. That could be kind of cool. But I think I think maybe we'll just keep it simple to begin with. So I'll have to do a build off camera. Uh, but yeah, that is fun. That is fun. Oh gosh, I am going to have a lot of fun renovating this. But we won't renovate it too much because like realistically, when you buy a store, you don't like you usually lease it and do redo the interior. So we'll kind of keep it relatively realistic. Uh, and the kids should be home from school in a momento. So... What language is that? I don't even know what I just said. I feel like half of you guys would have cringed then because you're like, that is not how you say it. <laughs> anyway, well, this is exciting. Locked off for everyone. Uh, can we like, oh, ooh, we got some boxes upstairs. How do you even get upstairs? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, F, Sylvia is performing extremely disappointing at school. She better shape up soon. Well, that's why we're going to pull her out of school. And oh no, Bailey's lost the responsible trait. Damn it. I really want her to be responsible. Yeah. Okay, so she's obviously doing some things on here. I think what we'll do on her phone, I think what we'll do is bring Sylvia here and her mom can have a chat to her about her plans. So we'll just say, um, ask about future Bain plans Alexa, for Sylvia. Be like, look, honey, oh, I, I wanted to call you here because I want to talk about your future plans. I know you're not enjoying school and school's never been a great fit for you. So, uh oh, how can I deal with things? Do a workout. <laughs> uh oh. Um, yeah, we'll just tell her, I think. You are very fashionable, sweetie. You're very driven, even if it's not school. And I think that we should maybe run a store together. So there's like, mom, I cannot even bear living with you. Why would we want to run a store together? And we don't have a store to run. She's like, well, sweetie, 
The reason I have decided to buy this place and make it into a new investment and we want you to run it. She's like, are you serious, mom? I mean, I guess, like off to school? And how am I gonna do homework and stuff? <laughs> So then we'll, I don't know why we have to apologize to her, but we'll apologize anyway. And we need to say something lovingly. Oh, why are they getting so many negative moodlets right now? Sylvia's meant to be excited. She's like, honey, I think we should think about homeschooling you or pulling you out of school so you can focus on this. It's like, mom, what are you, are you saying I'm stupid? Do you think I'm an idiot? I don't want to be homeschooled. Homeschool's for weirdos. I don't think homeschool's for weirdos at all. Um, that's just a stereotype. And then maybe her mom can say, well, if you don't want to be homeschooled, you know, it's okay. We can pull you out of school completely if that's what you want. So maybe she can settle down and not complain about stuff. And does she have anything exciting? Oh, she can give her mom a hug. And she can be like, thank you so much. What? What is wrong with these two? These two do not get along. I wanted them to have a really sweet moment and they just won't do it. <laughs> oh, well, she can be like, thank you, mom. That's really thoughtful of you. And I would very much like that. Okay, that there we go. End of conversation. Uh, maybe we can bring Bailey Barker here and uh, the girls can have a look around in here. And she can ask... She can be like, okay, Sylvia, can you take a look at the place? I really want to get your advice on how we can do it up to make it look really good. Uh, what's Bailey doing? Okay, Bailey can come over here. Maybe her mom gave her a call and she can give a compliment to Victoria and just be like, hey, I'm really excited. Um, mom told me that you've bought this place. And uh, yeah, that's awesome. I'm so excited for you guys. Bailey's like so nice and perfect. <sighs> I kind of like Sylvia more though sometimes because Sylvia's like, I feel bad for Sylvia half the time that she's so troubled. Anyway, they can have a quick chat and uh, maybe Victoria can be like, and uh, Sylvia's gonna run it. Sylvia's gonna drop out of school and do a business apprenticeship to help her run the place. And even though Sylvia doesn't really like Bailey right now, she can, Bailey can go and brighten her day and just be like, hey, congrats, I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, actually, Sylvia's character values, how is that going? Responsibilities going down. Breaking curfew. Hmm. Anyway, uh, what, what about conflict resolution? Declaring enemies or despising sims can negatively, as well as fighting or arguing. So if she fights with her mom more, she has poor conflict resolution. Okay, and Clarice is back home. That is excellent. So she can come here. I also think that maybe Sylvia should, like, tell her mom she doesn't like her new clothes and be like, um, since when do you want to be exactly like Clarice? Like, what happened to your sense of style? <laughs> Okay, where's Clarice? Maybe Clarice can come over here and give her honey buns a kiss. Kiss Jake, that's a nice interaction. Why do they keep going to this? Okay, I think Sylvia's a little bit more excited now, but she's just tense from a grade still. Oh, she's from being near family. I just need to escape this family. I love that. I forgot she's in a distant phase. Oh, that's why she's fighting with her mom so much. Right, 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 right. Oh, I missed this. We should be like, this looks amazing, Victoria. I'm so excited. When when are we going to start renovations? <laughs> uh, an ask about day. I think Bailey, oh, she's such a good girl, cleaning. Uh, maybe she should. More choices. Friendly. I want, it, I want her to go give her mom a hug. Oh, wait, I'm clicking on Sylvia, not Clarice. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. There we go. Give her a hug. 
Uh, Cause they're getting along much better now. Also, I'm so sad. Some of you guys really didn't like Clarice's hair color. I love her black hair. She always had black hair uh, naturally. And she just had it blonde for a while. Okay, well now that the girls have had a nice look at this place, I think it's time we get some food. Maybe we should go to the city to get everyone some food. That might be nice, like a celebratory dinner. So let's go to the city. Get some food uh, from one of the food stores or should we go to a restaurant? Hmm. Well, let's go to the spice district and get some food there. Just some takeaway. Nice kind of food. Uh, okay, and then we'll go with these guys. Uh, we should have invited Max, actually. We can invite Max halfway through. That's cool. Oh, I wonder what I should do with this store. I still want to keep it realistic so it's not like a full-on crazy store makeover. <sighs> but I still want it to be really nice. Okay, Bailey can be like, Mom, can I invite Max? Ah, <sighs> where is Max? There we go. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted them to get some food. Here we go. What? Oh, there's no like food food. Nice. It's only like produce. I want them to eat more than an apple. Open your store. Here we go. Yay. It's the best burrito store in town. Okay, let's go here together, everybody. And then we can order some food. Uh, she can get the burrito, veggie. Uh, oh my god, I so feel like this. Oh, there's a karaoke contest. Can get chicken burrito. Uh, I can't even say that. Empanadas. Empanadas. Sinaka Doomba. Oh, it's a Sinaka Doomba. That's so funny. Yummy. Oh, she's tired as well. Okay, Mom, can Max stay over the night? Actually, no, she should go to Max's house for once. Be like, Mom, can I please stay at Max's tonight? She's like, oh, okay. I guess you can stay over. It's like the first time Bailey's ever stayed at, at Max's house. But Clarice is kind of preoccupied by other things. Okay, and where'd Sylvia go? Oh, she needs to get away from her family, so she's gonna sit by herself. Maybe we'll give, uh, she should give Olivia a call. Chat. Give her a call. Okay. Okay. Well, I reckon uh, when these guys finish their food. Oh my god, her voice is irritating. <laughs> this is so typical that Sylvia's by herself at the table, like on the phone, while the rest of them are chilling out together. Oh, Suki Waterhouse is here. Okay, she's just talking to Olivia and being... Well, actually, Olivia and the others would have found out by now that um, it's both of their mums seeing each other, so they would have been like... They would have thought that it was really mean of Sylvia to have made fun of Bailey. Like, she totally put her foot in it. But I feel like they're all such good friends. They kind of know it's typical of Sylvia and kind of... bind together to maybe create a new club. I think that could be a good idea. Okay, well, these guys can go home, and Bailey um, Bailey can just be like, Thanks, Mom, I'll see you tomorrow. Chris can be like, Bailey, remember, it's a school night, so don't stay up too late. Although I feel like she would all... No, she would have asked her mom for permission, I think, to stay. Yeah, I think she would have asked her mom. Okay, so we go over to Max's house. How exciting. Uh, and we want to go there with Max, which he's not available for travel. Okay. And if you guys have missed some parts of this LP, Max, uh, Max's parents are either no longer living or they just no longer look after the kids. Um, so he actually lives with his 
siblings in a really massive mansion. So he doesn't really have much structure in his life, hence why he's a bit of a bad boy and he kind of seems a little bit older than he is. Um, but let's just have a little bit of a romance time between these two. She's feeling really tired. He's like, oh, Bailey, you're so cute. Express fondness. And blow a kiss. What is he talking about? He's like, oh, I went go-karting today with Ellie and it was sick. I bumped into him so many times. He got so angry. <laughs> and then we got hot dogs. Ooh. Oh, they're very excited, aren't they? Uh, profess undying love. Oh, things are getting hot and steamy. Oh, God. <laughs> She's written a poem for him. Oh, this is cute. Uh, more choices. I want them to make out. I like the kiss neck interaction. I think that's cute. Oh, geez. It's getting saucy. I think that these guys are like around... 18 now like if i had to set their age oh my gosh this is so romantic oh this is so romantic she's like oh max you're so funny you're so funny okay passionate kiss here we go She's Love like, this it. is your bedroom. It's so nice to finally see your house. She's like, oh. Yeah, my parents aren't around anymore, but they left us this house to live in, so it's okay. It's okay. It's a mansion, but it's awesome. And these guys are going to mess around and have a little bit of romance time. Yay! So cute. She's growing up so quickly. I remember when she was so young. And now she's a oh my god, you guys. I feel like a mom who's just like lost her little child. Anyway, I'm going to leave this part right here uh, now that they're going to sleep. But anyway, I will, I will be uh, recording the next part straight after this. So get excited for that because um, there is going to be something that's a twist in the next part, which I'm sure a lot of you guys can guess what it's going to be. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.